Hey, what's up everybody? Too Tall Toby here, and today I've got a big announcement for the Too Tall Toby community, and that announcement is that we are adding a fourth material into the Practice Models Materials Library, and that material is Red Oak. And Red Oak is gonna have a material density of 570 kilograms per cubic meter. So take a couple of minutes, go into your materials libraries and update that materials library to include this new custom material. And the event that triggered this development in the world of Too Tall Toby is that this week, we crossed over 100 practice models challenges over on the practice models app at twotalltoby.com slash practice. So to help celebrate, to help embrace this new material, I've created model number 101, 101st model in the library. I've made it available for all users. So anyone with a free Too Tall Toby account can take this challenge. And I've made it a multi-body part, which utilizes this brand new material, red oak, with a material density of 570 kilograms per cubic meter. So go on over to twotalltoby.com slash practice. You can check out that model at the very bottom of the list. It's a really fun challenge. And if you are an OnShape user, you can see here is what your new custom materials library should look like. You can see here that mine is set to uh, red oak, 570 kilograms per cubic meter. This is actually in the shared directory. So if you're using my shared copy of the materials library, it might just automatically update for you. Otherwise, make sure you go in and you customize your material. If you're a SolidWorks user, you can see this is what the material is going to look like. Now, for all you simulation pros out there, I realize that wood is not a linear elastic isotropic material, but we're not really going to do any simulation in these challenges. And so I just left it as linear elastic isotropic. And the main number that you're going to need there is the mass density. The Poisson's ratio is just kind of like an average of the different degrees, but it really doesn't matter. We're not going to be doing simulation. So make sure you input that mass density 570 kilograms per cubic meter if you're using a different CAD system we'll then go through and modify your custom materials library because we're going to see a lot more challenges using this new custom material and I'm excited to see what kind of challenges we come up with I think it's going to be really fun to create some different mechanisms using wood or maybe using wood and metal together in a multi-body challenge and maybe even create some devices that could be 3d printed in fact that model over at twotalltoby.com slash practice that model number 101 that is definitely a challenge that could be 3d printed now you're going to have to do some adjustments on the rods because currently there's no clearance you're going to have to make them a little bit smaller but other than that you could print out those four parts from that multi-body challenge and then you'd have an actual device that you could set on your desk and start using um, i don't want to spoil what it is but you could actually 3d print that challenge so head on over to twotalltoby.com check out the practice models app model number 101 is free for all all users. I think there's like 15 or so challenges that are free for all users. And then if you really like that app, you can upgrade to the premium offering and then you'll get access to the full library of 101 practice models challenges. So enjoy the app and enjoy this new custom material. I'm very excited to see where we go with it. And I will see everyone this Monday on Model Monday Live.